Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It is another beautiful but crisp morning here on the farm in Western North Carolina. We got some chores that we want to take care of this morning. We got to get everybody kind of fed, watered, and all that sort of stuff. But I want to talk about turkeys today. Uh, turkeys are actually one of the biggest income producers for us. Not necessarily profitable, but one of the biggest income producers for us here on the farm. So hang out for a little bit. Let's talk about raising turkeys, marketing turkeys, and selling your holiday turkeys for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I've still got a 150 pound bag of this miracle corn for all you Bambi hunters out there. morning piggies how's everybody doing this morning talked about this keeping zoom out keeping this brood sow this brood sow and that brood sow we'll be breeding them probably around christmas time and then these other four here will probably go away around christmas time i got this little guy right here we never got him caught and cut so we may we may all, we may not need to have, we may not need to RI to, to RSI. I wouldn't want to RSI pig anyway. We may not need to AI these pigs. We may be having piglets uh, in the coldest part of the winter, just exactly when I didn't want to do it. But we'll figure that out. Well, I was walking over to check her, but uh, she's up. Breakfast time, come on. Rise and shine there, bacon. Bless her heart. Morning egg chores are pretty easy. Usually a bag of feed, open up the nest boxes. There were a couple that had some poop in them. I just kind of scooped that out. We'll refresh them with some shavings after a while. Looks like we've attracted a little bit of attention this morning. I bet everybody wants to move. I think we can accommodate that request.
that for real life farming? <laughs> Alright, a few thoughts on turkeys. Um, number one, turkeys will not uh, cooperate whenever you're shooting a YouTube video. They will come across the fence and uh, mess your whole scene up. But that's okay. Turkeys, uh, are, like I said earlier, turkeys are one of our biggest income producing lines. They're not one of the more profitable ones. We do pay for the turkeys, pay for the feed the labor, all that kind of thing, and still put a little bit of money in our pocket, but it's not its not a great amount. Um, we like offering turkeys because our customers um, are looking for an option, a pasture-raised option that is not a confinement feeding butterball house uh, kind of turkey. <clears throat> a couple of pieces of advice. If you're interested in getting into turkeys, I would suggest start small. Don't go out and buy 200 turkey poults to get started. Um, buy the... Uh, you really need you need a customer base that's established, that's already buying beef, pork, chicken, or some other line from you that you can transition those customers over to. Um, folks that believe in you, believe in your mission, believe in your farm, uh, know the quality of stuff that you're raising. So you need to have a customer base uh, built in before you start with turkeys, or, or you go big with turkeys anyway. Um, <clears throat> Keep in mind, turkeys are generally about a 14 to 16 to 18 week uh, enterprise. So you need to be buying your turkey poults. Figure out when you want to process. If you want to process right at Thanksgiving, then you need to back that up about 16 or 18 weeks so that you've got good sized turkeys. You can't get turkeys the 1st of September and expect them to be ready um, for uh, Thanksgiving. <clears throat> September, yeah, that's just, you're, you're gonna end up with small birds. Start an email list, start advertising your turkeys early, let folks know that you're gonna have turkeys, go ahead and get them on an email list, phone number, email, uh, contact info so that you can reach out and let them know when their turkeys are gonna be available. We've done it a couple of different ways. This year we're doing a little bit different. We have processed turkeys the week before Thanksgiving so that folks have a fresh turkey. The way that our processing is gonna work out this year because of how we had to buy turkey poults We'll be processing end of October. If we wait much longer, we're gonna have birds that are gonna be 25, 26 pounds. As you can see, there's some there's some good sized birds out here now. There's some 16, 18 pound birds out here right now. We're gonna let them go about two more weeks and we'll start processing. We've, uh, so like I said, we've processed right before Thanksgiving. So they had fresh birds this year. We're gonna to have to process a little bit earlier so the birds will be frozen, but still yet, <clears throat> that is still a much better option than what you get in the grocery store. I have heard that um, Butterball or whoever the turkey producers are now, I guess it's still Butterball, whoever the tur turkey producers are can slaughter those birds whenever they want. As long as they don't freeze them below 29 degrees, they can sell them as fresh turkeys at Thanksgiving. That to me is just as about as unethical as you can get. So um, I would rather have a frozen bird that was processed three weeks before Thanksgiving. I think that's much fresher than probably what you're getting in the grocery store. Pricing your turkeys. Your turkeys are not gonna compete with the 99 cent a pound butter balls that they're selling at Walmart. You're just not gonna do it. I think our turkey prices are gonna be it's either 749 or 799 a pound. Um, if you've got you know a 15 pound turkey, uh, you kind of do the math. This, this is an expensive bird. This is an expensive product, but it's a once a year thing. It's a very special meal. There's a lot of tradition built in. There's a lot of memories that are built into to selling turkeys and it's just a special thing. So folks are generally willing to pay a little bit more for a high quality turkey that has a nice story behind it, locally raised, raised on pasture, ethically raised, all that kind of thing. Folks are generally willing to pay a little bit more for that product, knowing that it's something different that they can't get in the grocery store. But you've got to market it. Um, and again, on like I say on everything else, if you're gonna do turkeys, don't grow your turkeys out and then the week before Thanksgiving, 
uh, you're processing turkeys and you're saying, where y'all sell your turkeys at? How much do you sell your turkeys for? Be marketing those things along all year long. Mix that in with your uh, message that you're sharing with folks at your farmer's markets or how, whatever your sales outlets are during the course of the year. And then after a couple of years of doing turkeys like now, we have folks that are, you know, they're reaching out to us in June and July. Hey, can I go ahead and get on the turkey list? And for the past couple of years, we could have sold more turkeys than we had. So turkey's good enterprise. Know that you're going to have some loss. So if you think you want to sell 50, probably need to order 75. You are going to, I don't know that 33% loss is accurate, but you know, have, buy extra. Start out with extra. If you think you're going to sell 50, uh, I would I would start I would start with more so that you've got a little got a little wiggle room built in there. All right, I think that's going to do it. Um, I want to talk about turkeys because we're getting into the season, and you know what turkeys we don't sell at Thanksgiving if we have any left over, man, they will sell for Christmas because a lot of folks around here also do turkeys for Christmas. We don't do hams um, because our hams are fresh and folks want a cured ham or or something like that, so we we just don't do hams. But turkeys. Good enterprise to get into. We enjoy doing turkeys and uh, always look forward to the Thanksgiving season and getting these things off the pasture and being done with them. So, like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.